So what I have here is a sheet of Almor wax that has been cut into the dimensions that we use for uh, centric records as well as for a protrusive record. The single uh, smaller pieces are used for the centric record. The, the double length piece is used uh, for the protrusive record. Both of them are, it's just warmed up and folded so that it's a double thickness and then we'll have the patient do a protrusive position and close into it and that helps in programming the, con the eminence incline of the fossa on the articulator. The cuts and the sizes represented by these cuts that you see here, but it comes as a solid sheet and you can just cut it into these dimensions. So Yulia has been a patient who's been wearing a splint now for a couple of months and it's been adjusted a few times to get stability and to follow the joints and the muscles as they get to their most orthopedically stable position. What we're doing now is we'd like to get a centric record that duplicates the splint position as close as we can because that is what we've hoped would establish a hinge axis centric position. So I'm going to show the patient this wax. I'm gonna say we're going to insert this in place of your splint and we'd like you to touch your teeth on it the same way you would on your splint, but just touch and don't bite down all the way through, okay? So I just lay it on the napkin, I slip the splint out, and I make sure the patient doesn't close down. I put this in position, I do fold the corners up, and then I guide the patient up into position and just touch, and now close. Continue closing, a little more, and open. I like to get about a millimeter to a millimeter and a half of contact. That gives us a good stable position. We're gonna do that one more time. Often I won't even manipulate the jaw. I will have the patient just close the way they did on the split. Relax your jaw and float. Now close, continue closing. Go ahead and keep closing. More, more, hold it right there and open. Good. That's a good imprint also for this record. That's how I do a centric record using Almor wax. It's very stable. Uh, at 130 degrees, it gets soft. At room temperature, it's hard. We'll sterilize those and use those for mounting. For getting a protrusive record, you take the larger piece of wax, fold it in half. I like to use the folded part toward the front. I'll put it in position and I'll ask the patient to bring their lower jaw forward as though they were gonna put their front teeth edge to edge and then just close down all the way and open. And that gives us a protrusive bite record that we can use to set the inclination of the eminence on the, on the articulator because we brought the condyles down and forward in that protrusive movement. We can now make the condylar elements on the articulator touch at that position and that mimics the actual slope of the eminence. Okay. So Panadent has made a system for gathering a centric record using a metal tray. This is an anodized aluminum tray and it's a standard size. So first thing I'm going to do is fit it to Yulia's arch by inserting it, having her clothes on it, and then we'll cut it to her size. We'll line up the central midline with this notch in the front of the tray. It has little notches on the side to make it easy for you to uh, grab it and hold it in place. 